Hi everyone, it's Chris Frazzle. Welcome to my world and the kitchen at Arlington Park. Today I want to talk about cooking. How often after you become single after a divorce or your family's grown up and left you, do you actually leave the kitchen and you don't start cooking? You get the takeaway dinners or you think it will do, it will do. Did you know the kitchen's one of the areas in the house that you actually use when you're manifesting? Now there's lots of ways to get out there and people say, you can manifest this way and get the mind right and get the thinking right. But at the end of the day, it's when you actually take physical, practical action steps, the manifesting starts to become really easy. Now, I've had a friend who's talked me into learning to cook again, and I had my first cooking lesson last week. It was a curry. I'm venturing out by myself today. There's an amazing um, Asian uh, supermarket in Erina. I recommend it to anyone to go to. So I went there today to find something that I could try and have a go at cooking. The lady there is Linda and she's absolutely amazing. So last week, it doesn't cost you a lot to get into cooking because the first thing I realized was I didn't have any pots and pans or I had some pretty awful pots and pans. So if you go to Target, you can get a $12 pot, which is like so easy, cooks brilliantly, at least as far as I can see anyway. Now, what I bought today is I've always seen these and I absolutely thought, what on earth do you do with them? But apparently you steam with them. So I bought one of those and then I bought some prawn dumplings. I've got my water boiling. Now, the other thing why I got was my paper. So this is one of the simplest recipes you can do and it's gonna work, I can assure you. All you do is take this, $8.20, great investment. When you're buying this, you pay for your pan for about $30, $36. You can actually get one of the best recipes to multiply and manifest what it is that you want. So I want to sell more books and I want more of an audience with my workshop. So I'm manifesting that. I did put some music on in the background, one of my most favorite singers when I'm teaching in Hawaii. So make sure you've got the ambience right, got the colors right. If you want change, then use orange and white. Um, and then just get about it. So my water's boiling from what I gather, and I'm not one who looks up recipes and then follows them, but from what I gather, you boil the water, get this, sorry, this, put your paper in so it looks like so, then put your dumplings in, I've gone for prawns, so they just sit on the top. I've gone for four, that should be enough. Now this is only $8.20, so it doesn't cost you a lot to manifest. And you'll get about three meals out of that. So they're in there. From what I gather, you just put the top on. So I'm hoping it works. That's going on. And then what I take is you sit it in the pot. And when you sit it in the pot, and it looks like so, you put it back on, and from what I gather, you let it steam for about 15 minutes. Now, hopefully it's going to work. Well, of course it's going to work. It's one of my recipes. Now, the next thing you do is you just get some sauce. I don't know what this one's called, but it sounds all right. Linda assured me it'll be absolutely fabulous. There it is. So that's ready. So when my dumplings come off after they've been steamed, so how healthy is that? I'm going to put my dumplings with some sauce dipping. I might even shout myself a glass of wine tonight. I don't usually have wine, but I'm thinking this is a celebration to the opening of my new cooking show and where I want to go. So, start to cook. If you've been single, you want to manifest, nourishment is one of the best places to start. And when you start to nourish yourself, you start to nourish your soul. You actually think, oh wow, I am of importance. Um, and it's only when you feel that you have a use in society or you have some form of importance, then you take more care of it. It's like a piece of jewelry. You go and buy a diamond ring. You just don't toss it in the cupboard and don't wear it or you, you actually wear it and you're very proud of it. Your body, your mind, your soul, everything is very important. Don't let it go. Don't lose it. Actually nourish it each day. Now, one of the gifts my friend, my cooking buddy gave me was a chopping board. Can you believe this is the first chopping board I've had in my life. I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but a chopping board is awesome. I had some chopping up the other day when I was cutting up the dog food, and when you're on a chopping board, you just feel this freedom. So, this is me out. I will be back in a minute when my um, 
dumplings. I can't think what they're called. I think they're dumplings. Anyway, whatever they are, what Linda gave me, that take 15 minutes in the steamer to cook with some sauce, will be ready. I'll let you know. But the best thing I want you to learn is you are important to life. And when you find a use for yourself and when you start to nourish your body in the right way, then things will come to you automatically. And the kitchen is one of the most amazing areas in the house where you can manifest. And the stove is the luck of the house. In fact, it's the male luck of the house. Um, so, but it's anyone's luck anyway, so don't worry about it. Just rotate all using all four burners. So this is me out. I'll be back in a minute to show you my form dump, please. So I remember, just cook. It's not that hard. If I can do it, you can do it. And if we can get people taking more nourishment and more care of themselves, we can start a domino effect to a better world. So this is me out until I'll be back with my prawn dumplings. I'll show you what they look like and I'm sure they're going to taste super, super, super beautiful or nice or tasty. One of those words, you know what I mean. Cheers for now. Well, I will be back, don't forget. Cheers.